You want the cost savings and energy efficiency of Pee automated lighting, blinds, and the digital workspace. That's awesome! But you can't stomach the prohibitive cost of the switches you need to get 60 watt plus Pee. Not anymore. The GBT24M makes 24 ports of high powered, high density, four pair power over Ethernet affordable. Stick around to learn more. The GBT24M is not another high-priced, over-engineered network switch with settings and specs you need a degree just to understand. It's a mid-span injector that's compatible with any switch. That's right, I said it, a mid-span injector. If you're saying to yourself, I thought those were just low-cost, single-port accessories for Wi-Fi access points or cameras, you'd be right most of the time. So why build a multi-port injector when you can buy a PoE switch that can do the same thing? I'm glad you asked. We've all been there. You have a network set up and running. You've been happy with it for years, but now you need to either add PoE or you need to upgrade from PoE to something more powerful like PoE++ with 60 watts of power. So you get online or call up your favorite IT guy to let you know you're ready for an upgrade. Wham! You're neck deep in techno jargon, my friend. At best you realize you have no idea what these guys are talking about. VLANs, QoS, tunneling, OAS layers, MAC addresses, tachyon streams. None of us know what they're talking about. But we all nod and mumble sagely the most techy words we know, like inertial dampener. Or worse. The guy who set up your network two years ago has immigrated to the Alpha Centauri system and cannot even take your phone call. So the next guy you call in just shakes his head at you and looks at your antiquated system and asks if you've been using an Etch-a-Sketch for your computer for the last two years. Either way, you're in for a complete network overhaul. And geez, new equipment is expensive for this one little project. Guess it's time to pay for an upgrade. But the price of the equipment is the least of your worries. Setting it all up and getting it working is your real enemy. Either you're on the hook to spend hours on YouTube watching tutorials on programming these complicated network switches and hoping you just haven't left yourself exposed to hackers or you're paying a guy to come set it up for you. Then you're paying for him to come back and fix it for you and then you're paying for him to come back another time to fix more problems. What you thought would take half a day has turned into a month-long episode of Dallas. It's a drama. Why put yourself through all that? That's where a mid-span injector comes in. You can keep the hardware you have and get the additional PoE you need. You simply upgrade your PoE without having to change out the rest of your network hardware. Or, you're looking to add more network capacity with new high-powered PoE. You're planning to just add a PoE switch to your network. Seems right. I mean, we just talked about that. So you start looking for the right switch that has all the features you need for networking and the high-powered PoE. Have you seen the price you're going to pay? You've hit the switch dilemma. You can find the switch you want, but it doesn't have the PoE you need. Or you can find the PoE you need, but it comes with a switch that's so complex and feature heavy, it's like buying a semi-tractor trailer to commute to work. And guess what? It comes with that same price scale. Don't do it. Break apart the decision of what switch and what PoE you need with the mid-span. I hear some of you decrying, but hey, I've been online. I've read all the experts saying mid-span injectors are too complicated or just plain dangerous. Just go with the switch. They're so much simpler. Well, you know they're right in some cases. The key is to pick the right tool for the right application. So let's break down the objections and find where mid-spans do fit in. The biggest objection I hear from big system users is I need remote management. So, I have to have a managed switch. That's where the GBT24M comes in. 
It's a layer one managed device, which means it allows you to manage the PoE while letting your switch manage the network. You can use either the on-screen controls or the web-based management portal to turn on and off each port. Monitor the power draw by port. Decide whether each port will actively negotiate PoE or output passive PoE. Manage the port power capacity by choosing whether to output two pair PoE or four pair PoE. And you can even set the name of each network port. Now before I lose you, let's answer what does all this mean? What does active versus passive management and two pair versus four pair PoE mean? Let's start with active versus passive. Active versus passive PoE controls how power on the port turns on. Active PoE does not turn on power until it recognizes a PoE enabled device connected on the other end. Passive PoE means the port has power on at all times. So why use passive? Two reasons. Some specialty devices require passive PoE. Also, passive PoE can deliver more power on infrastructure applications like lighting and automation. It still has protections to shut it down, but it just has power on all the time. Now about the power question with two pair versus four pair PoE. The real upshot of this control is the amount of power a port can output. You can control the amount of power each port can output. Four pair PoE outputs more power than two pair PoE, usually about twice as much. And the same is true with passive, just a little bit bigger. So, we designed the GBT24M for infrastructure applications like PoE lighting and automation. What advantage does this injector have for building infrastructure? Number one, the on-device management screen allows you to control the PoE power port during installation when your network is not configured. It also delivers a lot of power, allowing you to pick the right switching capacity. PoE lighting and automation doesn't require a lot of heavy, rich network switches. It's pretty simple, really. And the PoE lighting control system does most of the management. This injector also allows for DC input power. That gives you the flexibility to have a centralized power system with hot swappable power supplies and management and alerts, or integration to new technology like digital electricity. So the GBT24M has a key place in applications where you need high powered PoE that is managed. You can control the switch that you need without having to burden it with combining it with four pair PoE. And it allows for integration with digital electricity and a centralized DC power network. The key message here is that when you're ready to add automation or more powerful devices to your network, don't let the cost of super specialty hardware keeping you from making it happen. Pick the switch you want or keep the switch you have and expand your network's power with a managed four pair PoE switch. If you liked what you just saw, like or subscribe. Join us and watch more videos going forward. You can find our products at your favorite reseller or distributor, or you can find it at PeeWeeTexas.com.